Historical miniseries are like a halfway point between a historical TV series and a historical movie, as they're often a couple of episodes in length and allow the world building and character development to be better explored than a historical movie, but perhaps not necessarily as well as a multi-season historical TV show. And the purpose of this list is to give you my recommendations of 5 excellent historical miniseries that I think all viewers of this channel will really enjoy. But before we begin, don't forget if you love anything to do with historical TV shows or historical movies, subscribe to my channel History Spark. And also there's a special affiliate link in the description below which will give you a 10% discount on Entertainment Earth. And number 5 we have Attila the 2001 TV miniseries which depicts the life of Attila the Hun from his childhood to his eventual death while he is at the peak of his power. This is an amazing TV show that does a great job of really bringing to life the unique warfare and military strategies that the Huns implemented to become a dominant invading force. But it also does a fantastic job of highlighting the declining power of the Western Roman Empire and how Valentinian III's incompetence and lack of skill as a ruler caused a weakened Western Roman Empire to be threatened by enemies on all sides. So if you're looking for a historical miniseries which has a strong leader who will go to any lengths possible to ensure a better future for his people, then Attila will be the perfect historical miniseries for you. At number 4 it is I Claudius, a historical miniseries which depicts the life of Claudius from his childhood to his eventual death, but through the viewpoint of an elderly Claudius showing the details of his life. The political maneuvering and the court politics and the depiction of Roman culture and society in the show is fantastic as it keeps viewers glued to the edge of their seats to see what plot twist or devious plan will be unveiled next. The acting can be a bit over the top at times but overall everyone does a great job in their role with Derek Jacoby and Sian Phillips having standout performances. So if you're looking for a series which has everything viewers love about ancient Rome and present it in a simple and elegant manner, then I Claudius is my recommendation for you. And number 3 is The White Queen, an amazing TV miniseries which focuses on the story of three influential women during the War of the Roses period, Elizabeth Woodville, Margaret Beaufort and Anne Neville, all of whom are influential women and are trying their best to amass power, wealth and influence for their families. Aside from a great plot with amazing plot twists, the show benefits from great acting by a strong cast as well as excellent costume design and set pieces. The only downside of the show I would say is that the first few episodes do start off a little bit slow which might deter some viewers but get past the first 3 episodes and you will find a show here that just gets more and more engaging and thrilling with each episode. So if you're looking for a mini series that is a bit more historically accurate than the norm but is perhaps one of the most underrated medieval series out there then be sure to check out The White Queen and its sequel The White Princess. And number 2 is The Pillars of the Earth, a historical mini series which is based off one of the most popular historical books written by Ken Follett. And it is an amazing TV series which has seems to just fallen by the wayside with hardly anyone remembering that this show even got released. This is a complex and complicated story spread across multiple plot threads, a builder trying to create England's most extravagant cathedral, a bishop trying to manipulate more personal power, and a sadistic nobleman who cares little for his duty to his lands or people. So if you're looking for a slower paced story which takes the time to carefully develop its characters and the plot then The Pillars of the Earth is my recommendation for you. And the top spot on this list goes to Band of Brothers, a war drama miniseries based on the Band of Brothers novel by Stephen Ambrose which focuses on the history of the EZ Company, the 2nd Battalion of the 101st Airborne Division. This is one of the best if not the best TV show ever created around World War II. There's very little to critique about this show. The storyline is amazing, the plot is coherent and easy to follow and the characters are believable and greatly developed. So if you're looking for a mini series about World War II which will grip you from beginning to end then Band of Brothers is my recommendation for you. 
So lastly, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do like and share this video with others. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, History Spark, as I post videos on historical TV shows and historical movies each and every week. Thank you so much for watching.